It's the second largest sexual abuse settlement, dollar-wise, $490 million to the more than 1,000 survivors of the late University of Michigan sports doctor Robert Anderson. It's been a rough couple of years for the institution, but it's been rough decades for the survivors of this abuse. A 12-member survivor leadership group unanimously approved the settlement. This is the right thing for the clients. Former Attorney General Mike Cox represents 174 survivors. He says the settlement makes sense for the survivors. They're going to pay close to a half billion dollars for something that happened 30 years ago, and, uh, and that's a victory. Now, out of that settlement, $30 million will be set aside for future survivors. Do you think there are more survivors? Oh, I know there are. Yet 98% of the survivors must approve this settlement, and ultimately a federal judge will have to sign off. But not every survivor is happy with the settlement. Is it a good settlement? No. Why? It's less than Michigan State, and they had half the number of people. 67-year-old Tad DeLuca says that he was sexually abused by Dr. Anderson when he was on the wrestling team from 1972 to 1976. Dr. Anderson is dead. dead Larry yeah. Nasser's still yeah. around. Y yes, He's but... a little older than some of the Nasser victims. So I've lived it with it for 50 years. Uh, <sighs> a lot of these men wanted to move on. Uh, like, they're my age, Charlie, they're, you know, 55, the younger guys are, and there's some women, but mostly guys, the youngest are 45, and they go up to 75. But besides the money, some on campus believe U of M must do more to get rid of the stigma of sexual abuse. Do you feel safe as a student here? Um... I mean, if I stay within my own circles, pretty much, but there are systems that I would not be comfortable entering. There's a problem, and we need to continue to do better. Keep making changes to help move our institution forward. In Ann Arbor, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.